Okay, now in order to handle the, the circle, I don't know, let me show you up close how it looks like. But it's pretty messed up because of the, the way I cut it. I didn't do a very good job. Um, let's see if you can see. Yeah, you can see here. Uh, because it melted, so it has all those bad edges that pretty much have to be removed. So I'll try to dry mill it. Hopefully I'll do a good job. Hopefully it will turn out well. Well, this is what we have. So it looks nice. And this is where the glass will lay this edge. Now, the cap that I got, I'm not sure if you can see, there is that edge here. It's about a quarter of an inch high this thing and I really hope that my glass will go uh, the plexiglass will go really will be perfectly flushed with it because otherwise it will create a headache to me to do something about it in order to be able to flush it so we'll see when we cut the plexiglass and uh, and put it in to see if it will be flushed because I want to make sure the plexiglass is pushed and hold by the the cylinder the pipe that goes inside so there is no way for the plexiglass to to move in from the from the pressure okay what we are going to do now is actually to cut the acrylic uh, clear for the window. It's a uh, thick a quarter of an inch and it has those paper sides just for protection. Um, I picked acrylic uh, because it doesn't get yellow from the sun and also it's supposed to glue very well with the ABS pipe using the ABS cement so that's the reason you have to know um, whatever materials you're choosing you gotta know if uh, the glue will work for it or not so what I'm going to do here is um, just to have its circle. Um, I'll do a very rough cut first and then I'll go a little bit slower on it. Now, this is a perfect circle, however, if you remember what I showed you last time, I'll come closer here again. My cap, when I got it, it has this edge here. So I'll try to cut a little bit more 
in order to fit within. Okay, now I have another perfect circle. I have a little bit of the paper here, which is not bothering me at all. Um, now let's see how does it go. Um, so you can see perfect fit. Just amazing. Okay. So now what I would like to do is um, like to remove part of the, the window like the, the paper so I can sand it and I can I can glue it and to do this of course the easiest way will be this Now why do I do that? I do that because when I cut the circle, no matter how perfect it is, because I don't use the like the real good tools to do the cutting and I do, did a lot of stuff manually. So there is a possibility and it's a little bit for my cut, the hole, to be out of center compared to the Diam diameter so I want to make sure once I draw the the line that I did I want to make sure then I will be able to position the glass in the same way that it was originally okay that's the reason I did the mark so I made a scratch here because I won't be able to see very well the pencil and I put a line here, so they are pretty much aligned. Okay. Three. Okay. Yeah. Now with that said, this has to be done very carefully. Make sure you don't press too much. We don't need deep line in the glass. We need just enough to cut the paper. is the side and it goes here, right? So, 
put it back in. Like this. I'm not gonna remove those protective layers until I'm done with the gluing and everything because I don't want to glue the window. Now, I also have to make the to align it here, right? So I'll do the same circle. should be strong enough so I can press toward it. Okay. So now we have this circle as well. So we do the same cut. I can go a little bit more because like to go a little bit more in because in my case it will come to somewhere till here so it won't be visible it will be behind uh, this edge so I can really go a little bit more inside which make my job of peeling the paper easier after that Set. Okay. So this is how we go. If you look up close, you will notice how this circle is a little bit off center than the center circle behind, and this is what I was referring to. That's why you have to mark how exactly the circle will fit to the... Okay, now what we're gonna do is we'll do some sanding and then we have some gluing to do. Okay. Now it's not clear anymore because it has enough scratches, it will be easier for the glue to fully penetrate. 